Ohio State hit five, uh, I think, five out of their first seven shots. Um, you know, a couple deep threes and a cutter on the end out of bounds. Um, so yeah, that was that wasn't exactly how it was supposed to start, certainly. And uh, once we started defending and getting some stops, I thought the pace and getting out, um, you know, un a little bit of an undersized team, we managed an advantage inside with Jakob and and Kuzma, I thought. So, uh, and then we hit maybe as many threes as we've hit all season. So it was a nice combination overall. You talk about Kyle, he didn't really have a very good tournament down in Puerto Rico, but came to play tonight. Just what was the difference with him, do you think? Well, you know, we're, we're still dealing with some young kids. Uh, you know, confidence is always a big thing. It wasn't, a, it, you know, it was a grind. At Puerto Rico, three games in four nights, and we flew. Mm -hmm. You know, it took us 10 hours to get there. By the time we got there, we, we put more miles in than anybody else. So I don't know. Uh, we certainly laid an egg against Miami, but, they, you know, they're playing right next door. And a little bit of a perfect storm with some, some Puerto Rican kids coming home. And, uh, right. you know, it didn't go the way that we wanted for sure. But I thought we weathered the storm with Texas Tech and Temple and ran into a tough Miami team that I know we're a lot better than that final score was. Um, but it's... You know, we're not expecting Kuz to score 20 points every night, and we're not expecting Jakob and Brandon. And what, what I've talked about a lot is we need to have, the key for us, we need to have three or four guys having a good game mm -hmm. simultaneously. And I don't care which of those guys it is. And that'll put us in a position that we can be successful. We had a few games earlier this year where we've only had two guys play well. And fortunately, you know, we got a win in, in a couple of those games. We didn't against Miami. but. Collectively, it's important for us. Somebody needs to give us a spark, um, and we didn't have a lot of, you know, Jordan played well and Jakob played well, I thought, in Puerto Rico, but beyond that, we had some ups and downs. So that's going to be the key for us being successful is to find a more consistent level of play. And it, it shouldn't need to be at home here at the Huntsman, but I know we were all looking forward to getting back after that trip. Uh, had some practices here in town, and. Uh, you know, got our legs back. We're probably as, as well rested as we've been all year at this point. Um, with the first five games and nine nights, it's a little bit like an NBA schedule. So it's kind of nice to settle in here and and get our sea legs back. So did Bricot, uh, you said he sprained his ankle, I think, against Temple. Did, did he kind of re-aggravate that same injury? I haven't talked to our training staff. I know it's an ankle, but I'm uh, not getting into the specifics about the same ankle or... Um, you know what exactly took place. I don't think it's. I don't think it's too serious. Uh, I just got my focus back. Um, I played pretty bad in Puerto Rico. Uh, I wouldn't say bad. It's not up to my standards. So just got back in the gym and just got my focus right. It took you guys a little bit to get going um, in those first couple minutes. What what was going on there, and what changed as the game went on in the first half? Um, well, at first we struggled a little, a little bit against their zone. We were kind of like just standing around moving the ball and they didn't ha really have to do much. And then we started first playing better defense, so we got out running. And then we started finding like holes in the in the zone, like attacking it inside, inside out. Um, we made our shots and that's really how we how we ran away. Well, we, we knew they were like a little undersized team. Um, their center is, is still pretty tall, but like in general, we're, we're a taller and more physical team, I'd say. Um, so we knew we would have to like go inside and um, I tried to be aggressive with it at first like the first couple of minutes in the game they did a really good job taking it away and I wasn't as active as I wanted to be and then I, I kind of turned that around and, and it went better from that point on. Uh, Jakob that one play you had that that steal and we were able to go coast to coast with a dunk what would you kind of see on that play and what does that kind of do for the team when you're sort of in the middle of a run like that? Um, well, it started off by the whole team like doing a really good job denying the pass, passing lanes, so they had to go to the high post. I saw the pass early, so I, I went for it. And it's just one of those energy plays. Like We had a couple of them in this, this game, for example, like Kuzma's lob dunk. Um, it's, it's just, it, it brings a lot of energy to you. Like You get hyped up, and then you really got to use that momentum and like, keep going on that. Kyle, can you talk about the jersey change, about why you have a different number tonight? Um, that's going to be in the uh, My jerseys didn't show up. Uh, got lost? Got lost. I don't know where it went, how it happened, but 
You're from Puerto Rico? It hasn't it come back from, yeah, that's where you've lost it since then. Huh? Yeah, I just went James Harden today, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>